Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I am going to pretend like I'm on vacation. I was supposed to go to Mexico last week and my health didn't allow it. So I slapped a self tan on and I went shopping <laughs> and I picked up a new palette. Let me get it. I've had my eye on this for so long. This is the Too Faced Born This Way, the, the natural nudes. And I'm gonna create an eye look with this. I can't imagine not liking this palette. It is exactly the color story that I go for. We've got a little bit of warm in there, but it's a lot of neutrals and some cools, which I really like. I think this would be a perfect palette to travel with. That is if you wanna wear makeup on vacation, sometimes you don't. If you're gonna be spending most of your time on the beach, maybe you don't wanna bring something this big, but the lightness of the palette and how thin it is, I actually think it would be very easy to travel with. So I'm gonna use that. I also picked up the Tarte Key Largo Glow. This reminded me of the Drunk Elephant bronze drops, so I wanted to give this a go. One of you asked me in my comments if I'd tried Quo. For anyone that's not in Canada, Quo is the Shoppers Drug Mart line. So I picked up a lip liner and a gloss. I'm going to try that out. I already tested out the new Benefit Brow Definer, and I showed it in a short, but I'm going to use this again today. I love it. The coloring is perfect for me. If you have golden light hair, warm golden blonde is the color. I'm just going to get going. My mom and dad are on their way here to visit. I'm excited. I haven't seen them in a while, although I see them every day on FaceTime, but I want to get ready before they come. So I'm having some struggles with my face, with this side of my face. So my eye has been drooping really bad over the week, and this side of my face when I woke up this morning was all swollen. I think it may have gone down a little bit. It's kind of tingly as well. So if you notice that my eye is a little bit lower than it normally is, I got something going on there. Not sure what it is. So try to look past that. I just put a drop in that helps open it up. Honestly, it's one thing after another. I always try to stay positive. That's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do my eyes first because I'm not sure if I'm gonna have any fallout with this. I'm gonna start off with Painterly Paint Pot. I usually start off with that or Soft Ochre. I just don't know where my Soft Ochre is right now, so this'll do. It all works. If you don't have this, a nice coverage concealer will work as well. Just make sure to powder it before your eyeshadow goes on. And you can see it just clears everything up and that's what I want. I want all the distractions gone, like the purple veins, that nice big freckle that I have there. Oh, did I introduce myself? If you're new here, my name is Julie Meekle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist. I dip into fashion a little bit and we're growing a really nice community here of loving, supporting, kind women. And I'd love for you to join me. So subscribe, hit the like button if you like this video. And yeah, now let's get going. I should get my mom to help me pull some highlights through a cap today. I always end up doing that by myself and I would really love it if I had help. You know what, I am gonna go ahead and do my brows right now. I feel like that makes a difference when I'm doing my eyeshadow. This is the new Benefit Brow Definer, is that what it's called? Precisely my brow detailer, sorry, I was saying definer. I love this. If you didn't see my short video, it has a little bit of a protector so that it doesn't break when you use it. And the color for me, Warm Golden Blonde, is perfect. I did a side-by-side -side and a short the other day with the Precisely My Brow, and I really like it. The color's perfect. I got it in the same color. But you know, for a more natural brow, I like the detailer. It just didn't fill it in quite as thick. It really looked to me like it was natural. Yeah, I love that. Best brow color for me. The other one that really works for me as far as coloring goes is the, the Kosas Micro Brow, but I think this color is better. Kosas, I believe I'm a soft brown. Also really pretty. I'm gonna wait to put the wax on after I do my foundation, just in case I need to touch it up a little bit. This is so pretty too. All right, what am I gonna play with? I'm excited. I haven't gotten a new palette in a while. I didn't need this. I have lots of palettes, but it's like any artist. I imagine this is the way it is for cooks too, that you know, you get inspired when you get new products or new ingredients. And that's how I feel about makeup. It just inspires me to play. It gets me excited. Do I need it? No. But does it make me happy? Yes. And I need to be happy. So yeah, I guess I do need it. Okay. So I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is nude. Just with a fluffy brush, this is a BK Beauty A503. 
I want to just lightly dust that everywhere. Hmm, I should put my hair up. I'm trying to not take a long time to film because my mom and dad are on their way. This isn't gonna be crazy because who wants to spend a lot of time on their makeup on a holiday? So we're pretending I'm in Mexico and I'm going out on a date with my husband on the Malacan in Puerto Vallarta where we should be right now. So I tried a new self tanner and I thought I was gonna really like it and I don't. It's from the same brand that I love. I love Luna Bronze Tan. I've been using it for years, but I got the clear version, the clear foam, because I was thinking, oh, that'll be nice to get dressed and not worry about getting the tint on my clothes. But I don't like the color. I really like the Eclipse with the colored tint because the colored tint, I need something on my lips. The colored tint just makes sure it doesn't go orange and I can really see where I've placed it. And if I've placed too much, I can go and put lotion and dilute it. And with the clear, I can't see where it is. And the tone to me looks more orange than I like. So that's the deal on that. Okay, so far so good. I might as well go for this shimmer lip oil. I've never tried this lip oil before. Even though I worked at Shopper Strug Mart, I really wasn't into trying the Quo line. We had prestige products in our Shopper Strug Mart, so that's what I focused on. So basically no color. <laughs> feels comfortable. It'll be nice when I get the lip liner on. Oh, it feels nice actually. Hmm, what color is this? Let me just put my glasses on. Okay, Maraschino 40. Maraschino number 40 is the color. I mean, is there a color? I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. This is a BK Beauty 211. And just to show you the difference, so this one is gonna give me that fluffy diffusion. And as I go smaller, and if it's stiffer, you see how this is more flexible a little bit? When I use a brush like this, it's gonna give me more deposit, be more detailed. I think I'm gonna go in with the Warm Rose and see what that looks like more in the crease. And uh, whatever's left from that crease, I'm gonna bring up in that outer corner. Just giving a little bit of a lift. I'm gonna take that same color actually and go everywhere. Why not? This is supposed to be easy, right? Yeah, just like that. I think that's pretty. Did I say that was? Yeah, Warm Rose, I did say what that was. I'm getting right in the mood. I got my whole storyline going. <laughs> That's what I gotta do. You know, a lot of the times when I'm applying my makeup, it really depends on what I'm doing, depends on the mode I'm in, what I'm wearing maybe. Like I've got a jean dress on right now. That's typically what I would wear if I was going out, something just easy flowy, nice and cool. I don't want anything sticking to me when I sweat. This dress is from last year, by the way, from The Gap. I do have clothes to try on. I bought so much to go on this trip and I was gonna show everybody, but, but that's okay. Did I get it even? Yeah, I think I got it even. I think I'm gonna go in with this color, which is Shimmering Pearl. I'm just gonna go in with my finger and press it on to that, like, Mobile lid there. Oh, that's pretty. What did I just do? Oh, I must have did. Oh, I did. I dipped my finger into the powder. <laughs> of course. That never fails. There's always an incident with me. Okay. That's pretty. Thank goodness those eye drops seem to be working a little bit. Now I'm gonna use this nice light color. Hopefully that's enough to clean up underneath my brow. I'm gonna use a stiffer brush. I'm gonna use this brush. This is so old, I don't even know what this is called. It's by Real Techniques and it's got that nice point so I can go in and, and because it's stiff, it's picking up the product and it's cleaning up that brow for me very, very well. Good. My plan is coming together. So at least my husband is going for a snowmobile trip. He had to miss out on it when we were going to Mexico. Since we didn't go to Mexico, he just left today for that. So I'm glad I didn't ruin his 
time completely. Snowmobiling always makes me nervous. It is a dangerous sport. They go so fast. This color is called Coco, and I'm going to use that in the corner right there just to give my outer eye a little bit of a lift. Hello? Hi. Hi? Uh, this is Cheryl. I just had a phone call from you. Um, uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. I'm not sure. I just saw a missed call, so I, anyway, I'm sorry to bother you. No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> sorry to bother you too. <laughs> okay, bye. That's funny. So that just pulled it all together and gave me a nice gentle lift, very natural look. If you wanna keep that lift natural, use eyeshadows. Eyeshadows in a stiff brush, it's easy. You don't have to be very particular about it and detailed. Let's try to give this eye a lift for God's sake. Honestly, like when I saw my eye was doing that, I'm not the type of person to panic because I've just dealt with so many health issues, but I just started thinking, what now? <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, I think that's as far as I wanna go, honestly. I'm gonna wait to put anything under my eye. Once I clean up my skin, I'll probably put a little bit of an eyeliner on, but that's it, that's my eyeshadow look. Let's see, do I wanna use this today? I wanna test it out. The Tarte Key Largo Glow. This comes in different colors. Oh, Shake Well with Moisturizer or complexion for a bronzed glow. You know what? I might wait for this. I think I'll use this when my self tan is fading on my face, but it's still on my body. So I am gonna wait for this. I'll show this in another video. I picked this up though. This is the Revlon Serum Tint, Ginger Root, Vitamin C, Vitamin A, or Vitamin E, Illuminants. I typically go for something with a little bit more coverage, but I wanna test it out. Oh, you know what? That's too light. Okay. Maybe I will add a bit of this in there. Let's see. That's a lot of product. Oh, this is quite neutral. Hmm. I'm gonna add a bit more. I'm wasting a lot of product. Oh, there we go. That matches better. Okay. That's a lot of product, but that matches better. And there you go, that's exactly when I would use this, when my color is not right. Let me just dab it on. See what happens. Did I make it too dark? Probably. Oh no, that's not bad. Okay, well, that matched this very well. I know that there are many of you that really focus on sunscreen on your face, but maybe you get more sun on your body. That mixture is perfect. What a great way to cheat up your tan. That's what I should do, honestly, rather than self-tanning my face because the self-tan always brings out these spots. Now, did I get any coverage from this? Absolutely not. But do I care in Mexico? Maybe not. My skin looks good. There, I just turned down the light over there. Hopefully that evens it up a little bit. Sorry guys. Okay, I'm not mad at it. I'm mad at these, but that's my fault. Which concealer should I use? Oh, I have a new one to try. I have this one. This is by Smashbox. It's a light coverage, instantly enhances your complexion, even skin tone, visibly reduces dark spots with results in four to eight weeks with skin caring ingredients, ginger root, extract, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Vitamin C is amazing for your skin. That is something that I will never do without in my skincare. Vitamin E, also very good. The vitamin C will protect against the environment and it helps with clarity. That's how we always remembered it. It did even out my skin tone. Like I can see that the redness is gone, but I just have too much hyperpigmentation. I'm really not gonna worry about it though. I'm just not. This might be too full of a coverage for today, so I will take a look at it. Healthy Glow 4-in-1 Perfecting Pen. I've had this for a while and I was just saving it. I kind of forgot I had it. <laughs> I get all these ideas of what I wanna try. Okay, so I just rolled it up. 
I just put some on my hand, but I will use the brush a little bit just to place it under. Will this be the right color for me? Who knows? Healthy Glow. It sounds like it's going to match the formulas that I'm using. Like I generally wouldn't use a matte formulation under the eyes when I've got this Healthy Glow. I say that, but watch next time I will. I change my mind all the time. That's the beauty about makeup. You can wash it off and you can change your mind. Oh, I think that color looks good actually. What color did I get? I got L10N. Hmm. Yeah, that looks good. Hey, I'm liking this look today. This was really not planned as normal. I don't plan a whole lot out. Very nice. I do want to give you an update on a product that I tried the other night in my live stream. I'm not a fan of this product. I thought that I might like it. And I really encourage you to not buy things when I'm giving first impressions, unless you just really want to try it. But I like to try products a few times and really figure out if I like it before I say, yeah, this is good. My skin doesn't like this. This is the Kaja Brightener and I got it in peach. They came out with a new color. If the consistency is too thin, it, I don't know, it's, it really just allows the product to settle in my thin creases, in my thin fine lines. If it's a little bit thicker, just a little bit richer, and, and it's like, like this formula here, compared to this formula, look at the difference in texture. And the thin texture doesn't sit well underneath my eyes. That's why Maybelline Fit Me doesn't work. It's too thin under my eyes. It just kind of settles and to me enhances the creases so much. I'd rather go without. Okay, while that's setting, let me tell you about this one. It's a perfecting pen concealer with hyaluronic acid, 24 hour wear, all day hydration, plus instant radiance. I can tell that it's drying down and that it is a longer lasting concealer. It has four and a half stars out of five, it has vitamin E, green tea, ginseng, hyaluronic acid. You could probably use this all over your face. Like I said in my last video, you can use anything all over your face. I really like that a lot. I wish it was the same color so I could go in. I, I think this is too light to go. Yeah, that's too light to go in there. It is what you can do though. You can use a nice skin tint and then just go in and correct these areas if they really bother you. Do I have a color that will correct that? Yes, I do. Let me get something. I have the Hourglass Vanish concealer and this is an apricot and you'll see that if I just touch these areas like that it will cover it up better than before anyway like right in here I got a big one I don't show up if I don't self tan I've really just got to work myself past that addiction, I really do. I was looking at a video the other day that I did and I didn't have the self tan and I really like the color of my skin. But you know, I get bored. I like to change it up. There's my dark vein right in there. Let's get that. Right there, little bugger, get out of there. Oh, and I have this <laughs> one right there, right dead center. There, gone. I don't mind these up here. Maybe a little bit there. I could keep going. Tell me to stop. I'll stop, I'll stop. Use my same smudge brush and go into cocoa again. Do I want cocoa? I'm gonna dip cocoa in with the warm rose because I don't want my under eye to be too dark. I don't know, this is my fresh look. Yeah, just like that.
Nothing too crazy. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna be ready for mom and dad. That's amazing. Now I'm gonna go in with my new, precisely my brow wax. And this will allow me to see if I've made any mistakes with my pencil, but I really like it because it kind of gave dimension to my brows. I couldn't imagine that I would have dimension to my brows like this. And it made them fluffier. Yeah, it just makes them a little bit thicker. But not too ashy. That's been my problem. There are a lot of people that have golden blonde hair. I'm not the only one. I wonder why I haven't seen this color around. I'm loving this. I used it in a video before. That's my recent purchase from House Labs. And this is the Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer in medium level five. I really like it. Now I'm not going in with the cream because I don't want to disrupt all of what I've done here. I just like this. I want to keep trying it. I'm going to use my BK Beauty bronzer brush and this is the 111. And I'm just going to tap it where I want it to go. And I'm tapping because I don't want to move whatever is underneath. Not that it would, I just don't want to risk it. So I'd rather tap. And I like that bronze look, so I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I'm going to just make it look like I was out in the sun all day. I got a healthy glow, maybe a little wind burn, that I don't care, I'm on holiday look. Maybe a touch there. On the shoulders is where this should go, actually. Let's just bronze up everywhere. What would I choose for mascara? I think I would use my Thrive Mascara. Where is my Thrive? Oh no. Just ignore me. I never follow my plan. Goodness. This is how you know I'm never trying to sell you anything. I mean, I appreciate it if you use my links, if you're gonna buy it anyways, cause that does help me. But I, I'm never trying to sell you on a product. I don't want you to have anything you don't need and don't want. Nobody's paying me to use these products. I bought these products myself. Where is it? Well, that's just telling me maybe I can't use that. I'm gonna use this one again. This is the Magic Extensions Mascara. Mac was kind and sent it to me and I hadn't tried it before. I really liked it. I wanna keep trying it. If I were sincerely packing for Mexico, I was gonna bring my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. But I also hadn't tried this before. It was easy to get off, by the way. I didn't have any flaking. I really liked it when I built it up the other day when I tried it for the first time. What a difference mascara makes. I say that in every video, but boy, you girls that have naturally dark lashes, you're so lucky. really want to tint my lashes, but I'm using those drops to try to get my eye to open up. I don't want to mess with them. I never get tint in my eyes anyways when I'm doing it, but I'm just going to leave that eye alone. It's always my left side. I did have a video up. I think I just put it to unlisted. I don't think I deleted it altogether, but there was a video back, I think around 2017, where my whole side of my face was swollen right up and you could see it. Everybody could see it. That's kind of what's happening this time or this morning it was, my husband could see it too. I had gone to the hospital when that happened because this side of my face was kind of crunching too, like all of a sudden my, my lips would spasm and I would get tight, but only on the one side. And I went to the hospital because I was thinking, okay, well I better make sure I'm not having a stroke. And that was when I had a second diagnosis of Lyme disease. And I brought in my lab work and he, said to me, he, I was fine. He didn't know what was causing the, the facial 
situation. And the lab that did my blood work, they were just taking me for my money and there was no such thing and that I didn't have Lyme disease. That was years ago. And I had words with that doctor. And then the next year it happened to me again. So to be sure, I went into the doctor, I went into the emergency room. Yeah, this eye is not holding its curl very well. And I think that's just my eye. Nothing is looking good on this eye these days. I went into the emergency room again for the same thing, just again, to make sure. I don't wanna just assume everything that I have is Lyme disease and just to leave it. I wanna make sure that it's nothing serious. I mean, not that Lyme disease isn't serious, but I wanna make sure that, you know, I'm not, I'm gonna be around tomorrow. So I had the same doctor and he said, oh, I remember you. And I said, yeah, I remember you too. And he said, well, if you behave like that again, you're gonna get kicked out. And I started crying. <laughs> And I said, look, I never would have behaved that way, but, um, but the way you treated me was awful. So this time he said, well, I don't, know, I don't really know enough about Lyme disease. And I said, now see, if you had have said that when I saw you the last time, I never would have gotten mad. All you had to do was say you didn't know. But instead, you told me that I was wrong, that the lab was taking me from my money, and that the lab was wrong. It was in my head basically, and I was fine and to go home. That's how you handled it. But this time you're telling me that you don't know and I can accept that. I can accept that you're human and that you haven't been trained in Lyme disease and you don't know about Lyme disease, that's fine. Anyway, I was crying when I said this and he said, sorry. I said, promise me the next time somebody comes in with a symptom that you're not aware of, that you admit that you don't know. And he said, okay. So there you go. We all learn at different times in different ways, right? I embarrassed him the last time because I told him off in front of the nurses on my way out, like told him off, but he deserved it. But I was proud of him the second visit. Takes a lot to admit that you've done something wrong, especially as a doctor. Some of them are so full of egos, not all of them, but some of them are. And his ego was big the first visit, but he swallowed his pride a little bit the second visit, so that was good. The biggest mistake people in this world can make is to think that they know everything. They don't. None of us do. None of us do. We all have something to learn. Yeah, these lashes are not happy. Okay, don't look at that eye. The mascara is awful on that eye. Why is that? It almost feels like I've lost my curl or I've, my eyelashes are shorter. Is it just because my eye is swollen? Maybe. It might be that my eye is swollen. Let's try this lip liner now. That was a little off topic as usual. Uh, I just talk what's in my head, guys. That's, these are the thoughts that go on in my head. It's been hard on my mental health this past week. My mother-in-law called me yesterday and she said, I haven't heard from you, so I know you're not in a good place. And my health, once again, stopped my husband and I from going on a trip. She was looking forward to our visit. We were looking forward to going to visit. And I just felt bad and I haven't really been able to leave the house and function and like there's other things going on. I haven't really had the energy to film that much. So that's been hard on me. Oh, I can't get the package off. Of course, it's drugstore products. Let me take a bit of this off. But yesterday I went for lunch with my daughters, so that was good. I got out of the house. I felt like a normal human being, which we all need. All right, this lip liner is the Quo lip liner in plush. Right, I got contacts too, but I also don't wanna wear those right now. Plush 19 because of my eye. Hopefully this will be good. Mm. Okay. That's not fair because I'm putting it over top of slippy lips. Let's just get that off. That's better. That's definitely a my lips but better color. Okay, that's nice. The liner was $12 Canadian and the lip gloss was $13. Now let's put this colorless lip oil on. I do like the lip oil though, it stayed. Sometimes I put a lip oil on 
and it just slides off so fast. I don't see the point, but this one feels like it's gonna stay. I just need a blush and I'm done. I think I'm gonna go in with this one again. I showed this in a live the other day and everybody thought I looked sun-kissed, so that's the look I'm going for. It is more of a coral. I think it's gonna go well. I'm gonna use a fluffier brush this time. This is by BK Beauty and it's the 112. It's got that little bit of glow. Pretty. Yeah, I really like this. It does have the bronzer on the other side. I just clearly wasn't organized with my thoughts with my bronzer because I wanted to use the milk one as well. I'll show it in another video. I have time. I really like that. And I'm not really a coral person, but I think when you've got a little bit of a tan, like that natural glow, I think it's really pretty. I'm more of a cool tone kind of person, but I don't find this too orangey, I suppose. Maybe that's why I like it. A little bit on my nose. And that's what happens when I use creams over top of me covering my sunspots. Let's do a touch of powder since I'm going out in that sweaty Mexico air. When I travel, I usually take a compact. It's either this one or this one. I think I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, I just wanna lightly powder. Make sure I get rid of all my creases. Just right in there. Yeah, it just smooths it right out, doesn't it? I'm in the color one, by the way. I find that they run dark a little bit. I would probably sweat around my upper lip. So I'm gonna do there and there. A little bit of spray. I'm gonna use the Fix Plus Stay Over spray by MAC. Before I go, I wanted to show you these beautiful sunglasses I got, and I still have the tag on it. I showed a beautiful pair of earrings that I got from Pilgrim, and I bought these for our trip. I love the shape, I love the color. They fit on my head nice, like they're, you can feel that they're really well made. They're not cheap. I feel so stylish. I thought this was a Canadian company, but it's not. Oh, this is from Pilgrim too. This necklace is actually a set and I lost the charm on one, so I gave the chain to my daughter. I love that store. Their jewelry is very unique, really pretty, really good quality, and it's made from all recycled materials. I don't believe this is, oh, maybe it is actually. Okay, look into a sustainable future with our recycled sunglass collection. Each pair is made from minimum 75% recycled plastic from the ocean, equivalent to 2.5 plastic bottles per pair. And with your first order, you can get $5 off. It just popped up a window. We look cool, we feel good, it's good for the environment. You can't beat it. I need to get a travel size of this. This is my favorite perfume. This is by Armani, it's called My Way. I have a few favorite perfumes. This is the one I keep going for and my husband loves it. I'm not qualified to give you perfume advice. I would want this on vacation, but of course I wouldn't travel with something like this. So I would either get like a Trevello, I think it's called from Shoppers, or you can get them on Amazon, those little perfume fill, like travel size things. Or I would just prefer to have the little travel size in the bottle. But yeah, this is my favorite. I feel so much better. Makeup is magic for me. It just boosts my mood and thankfully, this is sorting itself out, it seems, or at least I finally have a little help. It's been a bit of a rough week and I feel like myself again, a little bit. I hope this helps inspire you in some way. Let me know if you like this in the comments. It always helps the algorithm know and lets me know if you like it. I hopefully will have this video up Thursday morning, which means tonight I'm gonna be going live at seven o'clock. This is gonna be an ongoing thing that we're gonna do seven o'clock Thursday nights. My husband has darts anyway, and we're just gonna have fun. And we're really gathering a beautiful community of women who just like to chat with each other, hang out, play with makeup, maybe have a glass of wine. And um, yeah, I'm just, my dream is coming true of 
gathering beautiful women together. So I hope you join us. If you can't join us at seven o'clock, the video will stay up so you can always view it afterwards if you'd like. Before you leave, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with all your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.